How do I, 27F, tell a one night stand, 30M, that I have his kid, 1M? To keep it simple, my son's biological father was a result of a one night stand. He was a trucker who got snowed in. We met at a bar, hooked up, didn't exchange contact info, and I was just bored, lonely, and temporarily reckless due to the pandemic. I didn't bother with protection, but I love my kid, and I have no regrets, fortunately, I didn't contract an STD. When I discovered I was pregnant, I thought long and hard about it, influenced in part by Catholic guilt. It wasn't strong enough to prevent me from wanting to get down under the sheets, but it did play a role in my decision to keep the baby. I genuinely love my child, and that's why I chose to become a mother. I have a decent income, and while child support would help, we can manage without it. Initially, I didn't anticipate encountering the baby's father again, and I was content with that. My child bears my last name as I didn't know his. I was fine with being a single mom, as some of my friends with problematic ex-partners and absent fathers are better off without them. I believe my child and I are better off on our own than adding someone potentially disruptive to the mix. However, my friend who works at the gas station coincidentally saw him. She learned his name and race from his ID, confirmed it was the same guy, and even asked if he remembered me. On my behalf, she obtained his number and passed it on to me. Thanks to her curiosity, I can no longer claim ignorance and am now forced to make a decision. So, here I am. First of all, should I say anything? I know it's technically the right thing to do, but to be honest, I've heard so many baby daddy horror stories. It's to the point that if I had gotten pregnant from a hookup with a guy I might reasonably expect to see again, but not know well enough to trust, I might actually consider going to a deletion clinic because I wouldn't want my kid to go through what some children have experienced. If I say something, this guy can sue for custody or guardianship. I can't bear the thought of letting my baby go to some stranger and not being around. Moreover, he can't even talk and wouldn't be able to tell me if something happened, not that I think anything would, or that the trucker would even want custody in the first place. Who even knows these days? On the other hand, how can I deprive my child of a father? It would be one thing if, when he was older, I could honestly say I didn't know where his father was, but I can't possibly lie to him about that. I can't imagine telling him I could have found his father, but I was too scared. So, I'm leaning towards telling him, but how do I even do that? Can I just text him the news and get it over with? Should I try to see if he can meet up the next time he passes by and tell him face to face? Update 1. A while back, I posted here asking for advice on how to tell my baby daddy that I have his kid. After figuring out how to run a background check and finding no criminal history, I thought I would try to meet him, do a vibe check and see if he seems cool. I even considered hooking up with him again if necessary to get to know him. Anyway, it turns out I didn't need to go that far. The guy texted me that he was stopping by in town, so we met up for breakfast. I thought, cool, promising. Breakfast usually doesn't lead to a hookup, so he actually wants to get to know me, which makes it much easier for me to get to know him. We engaged in some typical casual date small talk. Then he asked if I had kids. I told him I had one. He asked how old, and I said one. He responded with, is he one in one month? He figured it out on his own. When my friend, who had never met him, recognized him by his name and insisted he get in contact with me, apparently, he was like, it's either a baby or a very serious STD. So, I just came clean and told him everything. I haven't introduced him to kiddo yet, but I showed him a picture. He agrees that our kid is the cutest ever and looks like him. We are getting a paternity test. He is definitely the baby daddy because he's the only Asian guy I've been with, and our kid is definitely part Asian. But I don't blame him for checking, since I know some women will lie about things like that. He doesn't seem like he doesn't believe me, he just wants to make sure, which is fair. Baby daddy says if the kid is his, he's fine with paying child support and just having supervised visitation until I trust him more. He lives in his truck, apparently, so no judge would give him any custody until that changes. So that's how it is. I didn't really get the choice to decide on my own terms whether to introduce them or not, but so far it all seems to be working out. Additional comment. A lot of people are really struggling to understand why I was so worried about my baby daddy and whatever risk he might pose to my son, and why I would trust a guy enough to throw down in the sheets with him but then not want him around my kid. I imagine a lot of you aren't parents, but let me try to explain. My son is one year old. He is totally helpless, completely dependent on me. I care about him way more than I ever cared about myself. I used to ride a motorcycle, do I anymore? No, I sold it because I don't want to leave him without a mom. I used to hook up with strangers, do I anymore? No, taking risks is a completely different ball game when I have someone else to worry about besides myself. Every single decision I make is now filtered through the lens of how it could affect my precious baby. Now, when I first realized I was pregnant, I never thought I would see his father again, everything I did was under the assumption I would be doing it alone. While I knew this would make things harder for me in many ways, on the other hand, it meant I would never have to see my baby cry because daddy broke a promise again. It was what it was, pros and cons. I knew I'd have to explain to my son someday that I didn't know how to find his father, and I was prepared for that. What I wasn't prepared for was ever having to make the decision of introducing my son to his father or not. That is a whole different ballgame. 
It was like the rug was pulled out from under me. I couldn't say, oh, it is what it is, pros and cons, anymore. I'd have to make a decision, and my son would have to live with whatever decision I made. That wasn't something I took lightly. Of course, I would rather that my son have a good father than not, two loving parents are better than one, but I didn't know. It was impossible to tell how things would work out in the future. All I could think was, if I tell this guy, he might take my son. A judge can award him custody, and I won't be able to do anything about it. I don't know how to describe how terrifying that thought is. The thought of my helpless, innocent baby being outside my reach. If something bad were to happen to him during that time, he couldn't even tell me. It's not that I thought something bad would happen, I'm not anti-men or anti-trucker or anything like that. I don't think all men are evil. It was just this idea that, once I tell the baby daddy, I've done something I can't undo, and anything might happen. You can think I'm horrible, selfish, a narcissist, the worst kind of female, whatever. None of that matters to me, what's best for my son is the only deciding factor. And in case you didn't realize, I eventually did make the decision to reach out to the baby daddy. I did want to get to know him a bit before saying anything. But when he figured it out, I didn't lie. I could have, but in the end, I decided that our kid deserved to know his dad, and if I lied right then, I could be throwing away that chance. Since he clearly only agreed to meet me because he figured out what happened, I don't feel like I did anything wrong by being cautious about it. Anyway, hopefully, that clears things up. You all might still not like me or understand me, but that's how I feel.